Hi everyone, Valerie Gregoire here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to talk today about weighted tuning forks and how you can use them to release pain or stuck energy in the body. Now I love tuning forks, both the weighted and the unweighted. They're probably my favorite instrument. Uh, they're very, very powerful. They're very subtle. They're very relaxing and they're easy to use and inexpensive. Um, once you buy a single tuning fork, you're gonna have it pretty much a lifetime. And um, it's a one-time purchase. It's easy to travel with. You can put it in your suitcase and bring it with you when you go somewhere. It's nice to have at your bedside table. Um, if in case you get a headache or something uncomfortable in the middle of the night, you can just reach over, grab the fork and work with it. And so it's just a great first aid and meditative relaxation tool that I think everybody should have. So I'm going to hopefully sway your opinion to join me on this. Um, so let's talk about using these forks for reduction of pain or releasing pain or releasing stuck energy that could be causing um, stuck energy in the lungs could cause sadness could cause in the heart it could cause a lack of joy um, in the liver area stuck energy could cause you to feel um, depressed okay um, so whenever the energy is not flowing through the body like it should we're going to have symptoms on the physical level so I'm talking about your life force energy that flows through the body and hopefully is flowing along very nicely like a river but when it comes to an area of constriction of tension or distortion or chaos okay then the nicely flowing river hits a block and when it hits that block pain is a result so pain is a signal to tell you that energetically things aren't flowing through this area and yes there are physical aspects to the pain but believe me it's the energetic aspects that are there first and foremost followed by the physical manifestation in whichever way um, it manifests. So talking about pain and talking about this fork. Now this is a weighted tuning fork and you can see that it has a couple little round circles on the top here, which are weights. And these weights bring the vibration of the fork down the prongs, down the stem. And then when placed on the body, it's gonna move that vibration directly into the body so you can feel it. When you tap the fork, which is typically done on the palm of the hand here or on this soft spot here, when you tap it, you don't really hear it in the room, but it's making a beautiful hum if you listen to this. It's a very relaxing, uh, meditative sound and different weighted tuning forks are going to sound a little bit different on their frequency and how they affect you. Some are tuned with more of an earth frequency or a, um, astrological frequency, a moon frequency, different things. So depending on what you need, you'll be drawn to a particular fork or when you listen to the hum, it'll just give you that sense of peace and you'll be like, mm, I want to be there. I want to be in this realm with this sound. So on one level, the weighted fork, before I've even used it on my body, just listening to its frequency is helping me to become centered or grounded. Um, it's helping me to move into a state of present moment. Um, when you listen to this beautiful hum, you're not letting your mind go do 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 about a zillion different things going on. It brings you to the present moment. It brings you to a meditative, peaceful state. And this is a state that allows healing to come in. Okay, so it's a very important, this aspect of the fork. 
And then the second aspect of the fork is that it actually is going to be applied physically to the body and it's going to help to release muscular tension or emotional tension that are held in the muscles, the tendons, the bones, or the cells. Um, it has its own wisdom because tuning forks are tuned to a beautiful harmonious frequency, very pure, and the body recognizes it as a place that's balanced. And when we have tension and pain in the body, we're in a more chaos kind of distorted energy and there's most likely a lot of tension and constriction in that area. So we offer in a frequency that's balanced and harmonious and always is, is used in the laws of um, sound healing when you have a distorted frequency and you have a harmonious flowing frequency the body will raise itself up to that harmonious level and try to match it. And this is the magic of how the healing occurs when you're working with sound frequencies. So the um, weights are bringing the frequency into the base compared to an unweighted fork, okay? This unweighted fork doesn't have, whoops, <laughs> any of those weights up there, but it still has the same stem. But because of the lack of the weight, when I tap this fork on this hockey puck, which is a typically a tool we use to with these unweighted forks, it's going to allow you to hear the frequency outwardly. And so let me just demonstrate this. This is a 528 sophagio frequency fork, a very popular fork for all kinds of work off the body and healing the body and bringing it into peaceful resonance and uh, activating the healing of DNA. It's a very, very popular first fork and um, it's got a very nice tone as well. So with this beautiful sound, you can hear it well enough that you would be able to work around your body. And, and the interesting thing is, is not only are you hearing the frequency, but you feel it. When I go like this, it feels like almost a magical swoosh of wind, of healing wind moving around the body. You can feel it move through the body. You could, if all you ever owned was this unweighted fork, you could still use it on the body and place it. You will feel it, but it's not going to be the same as a weighted fork. And actually, if I was working on an area of pain here with an unweighted fork, I would have more of a tendency to stroke it across the area and spin it in the area of pain and then just kind of pull up and release the pain, you know, kind of pulling it out. You could do that. So if all you have is one fork, you still have an excellent healing tool. Now, if all you have is your weighted fork, you can also use the weighted fork off the body in the same way. You can move it along. In fact, whenever I start a session to release pain, the first thing I do is listen to that beautiful hum. And while I listen, I take a few cleansing breaths and relax my shoulders, relax my body, and just move into a space of healing. <sighs> then, as I listen to it, I'll pass it across my forehead like this, and move it to the other ear. And when you do this, you can feel that vibration touching the skin even at a distance. So it's very interesting that you can really feel these forks on and off the body. So now let's say that my wrist area has pain and I also have pain up in this muscle area of the arm. 
the forearm. Okay, and so I want to use my forks there. Now think of this pain, these pain areas, especially this we'll say is the main pain area. Think of this pain area as being tension, having tension and constriction, okay, because that's what's in pain. And so that would be like a tight fist. So if you would make a tight fist like this right now and squeeze it and take a few breaths while you're doing that, you'll notice that your breath is tight. It There's no big inhale, there's no big exhale. There's kind of a choppiness to it because when you're in tension and pain, you can't breathe relaxing and breath is one of the ways that we move the life force energy through the body. So if we combine breath work with our tuning fork, we will get even better results. So thinking of again, we're clenching our fists, but now think about releasing that tension in your fist. And when you do it, just release your breath. So inhaling tension, exhale, release. Notice how I made the ah sound, okay? That's very useful in releasing pain and tension out of the body. So you can use a sigh, like ah. You can use the ah sound, which is typically used when clearing energy out of the heart chakra. It would be like a ah. Ah. Any version of that is fine. You could also use a shh, which is a typical sound used in Qigong healing to release energy out of the lungs. So you could say inhaling, tension, shh, release. The reason we're doing this is just to give your body a clue of how to use the breath work while releasing pain. Uh, the last way I will use the breath is more of a very um, subtle blowing out of the air. And I like this method because when you blow the air out like this, it actually relaxes you as well. So this would be a case of the gentle blowing very very nice releasing you can just feel yourself relaxing even if you worked on pain in that way saying this was my area of pain and I didn't have a tuning fork yet I could place my hand here center myself in that heart center and then just several breaths to encourage that energy to move out of that area. So now we're going to take our tuning fork and notice how I hold it. A lot of times they'll give instructions to hold it just by the stem like this and that doesn't work well because this thing's top heavy and it also falls out of your hand a lot um, when you're trying to just hold by the stem. So I was taught by one of my teachers that you could hold this area as long as you're not on these these upward stems here, you'll be um, okay. You're not going to affect the vibration. It's still going to have a nice strong vibration. So I have one finger here, my thumb on that side, and then I wrap a couple fingers here for stability. You're not going to grip this with a death grip, okay? It's a relaxed grip, so there's some movement here, but it's stable. We're gonna tap, listen, and as you listen, of course, I'm doing this faster than you would do this. <sighs> Cleansing breaths, tap, bring it to your heart. <sighs> Just get yourself centered. Now set our intention that this area of pain and this area of pain, our intention is to release the constriction or tightness that is causing this pain. And intention is very important because in energy medicine, energy follows your attention and your intention. 
So my attention is going to this area of pain. So the energy sent from this fork and from the breath work will also go to this area. And then my intention is to clear the blocked energy. So the energy is going to be focused on that task. We're going to tap and we're going to place the fork on the area of pain. If you if this increases pain for any reason, then move a little to the right or left of this area. Normally it would not do that unless you had a little hairline fracture. It would make it more painful, so you don't want to place it right on a painful spot. Or if you had osteoporosis, um, that could create pain. Some people say you can't treat an area like that directly. Uh, some people do. But the point is, if it creates pain, more pain, then move the fork to a little different location. So I'm placing it on the area of pain, and while it's sitting here, take your breaths, blow it out. Again, whichever method works for you for blowing out the pain is fine. Leave it there until you don't feel it anymore because at the very end, when you can barely feel it, is one of the most powerful times for a tuning fork to work. Now we're going to go back again and if needed, we could probably do this area one to three times. The idea is here now to connect to your intuition and your sense of being in the present moment to know when it's time to move the fork. So I might use this direct spot. I might go a little down, a little this way, that way, until I find, oh, this seems better. You know, this seems like a good spot to put the fork. The next method I'm going to use is something I call sliding. And this I actually did accidentally and noticed how well it worked and so now I use this all the time. I'm going to start before my pain and I'm going to slide it up and what I'm looking for is an area that the fork suddenly becomes stuck, which is right here, okay? Now it's not literally stuck, but you're sliding nicely along and it seems like it wants to stop here and it seems like the skin actually does get sticky and kind of traps the fork. And I think the reason this is happening is that the body's noticing that that wonderful healing vibration that's coming from the fork would be very helpful in this particular spot because there's a distortion of energy there. So it makes you automatically stop at that spot. So you're going to slide. I pass the pain spot, no problem, because that's feeling better. I go here, 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 and I look for, okay, here's another spot that makes me want to stop. So I'm going to do this a couple times as well. And I'll continue on past that and ending up in that other area where I had pain. I find that this area here is definitely tender when the fork is there. So I'll spend a few minutes, maybe three times in that area until I feel like I'm done, okay? Now we've worked through the area and if you were to glide your fork at this point, you'd notice that you'd be able to glide it very quickly and not really wanna stop anywhere. The next thing you wanna do is to take another couple of cleansing breaths and close your eyes and scan your body and ask the question, is there any other area on my body that would like attention that has to do with the pain that I was releasing in this area? Listen. And when I ask that question, I get an attention to the shoulder area. So my body draws my attention to the shoulder. So I'm like, okay, yeah. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? Because what if my shoulder mobility was impaired or I had extra tension in my shoulder? Then 
that might be contributing to the pain that was coming down to my wrist. So I'm going to again use the fork and at this point you might want to re-listen to the nice hum and remind you of the frequency. Tap again and whoops, <laughs> I got to bring it up to the, the shoulder this time. And so now I'm going to work in that shoulder area several times and different locations until I feel like that's complete. And then I would check in with the body and see if there's anything else. You might find that you need to go over to the neck area because all of that alignment in the, the neck is going to affect the nerves running down to the hand. When you're all done, you've completed it. Now, oh, you're feeling better. Well, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Most of the time, you do feel better, okay? And most of the time you can say, wow, that helped. If nothing else, you definitely feel more relaxed. But sometimes you say, oh, my wrist is still hurting. Well, don't worry about it. Let the energy do its job. If it's a chronic condition or the congestion's been there a long time, it may not move out on your first try, but something's happened, okay? There's a restructuring, there's a remembrance of what is where it's supposed to go to. You brought all that in with those beautiful frequencies. So just go about your day. A little later, a few hours later, check in with the rest, the, the forearm, check in with your shoulder and see how it's doing. You may notice at that point, hey, it doesn't hurt no more. <laughs> and then your job's complete. If it still has a little uncomfortable, then you might want to work on this for several days in a row. Um, until the energy moves out and when you move that energy out the healing can take place the reason is not just energetic and frequency there is a physical thing going on here too these weighted tuning forks activate the release of nitric oxide um, a, a healing molecule in the blood and it activates it in the body to um, do many, many things. It's an anti-aging um, chemical because it fights free radicals. But free radicals are the same things that are gumming up things when your body's got inflammation. So if your tuning fork is helping to decrease the amount of free radicals in an area, that's going to help get the inflammation down. It has um, an effect of improving your blood flow. It relaxes blood vessels so the blood can flow better. It opens them up and it just activates improved microcirculation. And when you do that, nutrients can get in, waste can get out, the healing process can take place. Um, oh, also nitric oxide improves the production of natural antibiotic or antiviral um, molecules in the body. So it would help fight maybe low-grade infection or sometimes when we have muscle or bone ache, it's, there's a virus in that area. And so it will activate the body's natural antiviral antibacterial fighting properties. And then it's going to improve mood as well. And if you feel better and you're not so focused on pain, obviously you're going to move into a healing place a lot easier. And then the fork's beautiful frequency and calming effects helps you to relax tension. It helps you to ground yourself. It helps you to move into the present moment and be more in a meditative state. All of these things are going to help you to heal. So I will leave you again with this beautiful frequency. Um, this is a 128 auto fork. And that means it vibrates at 128 times per second. They call that 128 hertz. And this is one of many types of weighted forks that you can use, but it's a very popular one to start with. So once again, here's the frequency. Take a nice breath and relax.
Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.